So in this example, we're going to calculate the maximum deflection of a simply supported beam with a point load in the middle. In this case, the maximum deflection is going to happen right underneath the load. And the deflected shape is going to look something like this. So what we're calculating here is this value right here, delta max. Okay. And we would go to our tables, and we would find the equation for this. Delta max is equal to PL cubed over 48 EI. So this equation only applies to this particular loading condition, a single point load right in the middle. If the point load wasn't in the middle, or if there were more than one point loads, we would have a different equation. So don't try to apply this equation to other conditions. So let's look at the different parameters here. Let's start with P. P is equal to 50 kips. L. L is equal to 20 feet because L is the overall dimension. And what about E and I? Well, E is the modulus of elasticity. So we need to know what material it is. So let's assume that this is steel. We look steel up in the table and we find E is equal to 29,000 KSI. And finally, we need to know I. So I is a property of the shape. So let's assume that this is a steel beam, a W18 by 40. We'd look that up in the table. And I is equal to 612 inches to the fourth. Now before we just start plugging these into the equation, we need to look at a few things. Let's look at the units here. We have kips, we have feet, we have kips per square inch, and inches to the fourth. For these problems, because your deflection is something we usually calculate in terms of inches, so we usually want this to be in inches, we want to get everything over here with consistent units. So what I recommend is you convert your feet to inches right away. So um, 12 inches per foot times 20 feet is 240 inches. Now we can plug this into the equation. Delta is equal to P, which is 50 kips, times L, which is 240 inches. And it's just the 240 that's going to the third power, divided by 48. 48 is a coefficient. doesn't have any units on it. 29. 1,000 KSI, there's our E, and then 612 inches to the fourth. And we look at this, and we put it into the calculator, and what we come out with is 0 0.81 inches. So under this load, this particular beam, an 18 by 40, made out of steel, will deflect 8 tenths of an inch at the setting line under a 50 kip load. The um, different materials, different shape, would have different deflections. Let's do another example with a uniform load. This time we'll look at a cantilever. So let's go down here. And we have this cantilever beam here. And this cantilever beam, um, we again look up the equation for deflection. And the deflected shape would come off like this, out to the tip. So here's what we're looking for is the maximum. Delta tip. And again, we look this up into in a table, and we find the delta, the, the deflection of a tip is equal to WL to the fourth over 8EI. Notice now we're doing length to the fourth. It's length to the fourth because W has. So in this case, we've got our different parameters. W is 2 kips per foot. L is equal to 10 feet. E, again, we need to know the material, so let's assume steel again in this example. 29,000 KSI for steel. Let's use the same beam as we used before. I is equal to 612 inches to the fourth. That's a W18 by 40. At this point, I recommend that you, again, get everything in, in terms of inches and kips. So our length is equal to 10 feet times 12 inches per foot is 120 inches. And our load, W, is equal to 2 kips per foot times 1 foot divided by 12 inches. 
and that gives us 0 0.1667 kips per inch. Now we have everything consistent. We can plug it in. So let's go ahead and do the math. The tip deflection is equal to 0 0.1667 kips per inch times 120 inches to the fourth. And again, we're only taking the 120 to the fourth power divided by 8 is a coefficient. Modulus elasticity is 29,000 KSI. And our moment of inertia is 612 inches to the fourth. And if we put this all in, we get 0 0.243 inches. So that tells us the tip of this beam will deflect 0 0.243 inches. What we would then do is we would compare this to allowable deflections. And I'm going to do an example of that one in another video.